What? Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. We have Jameson, which is a huge brand. We've been to the distillery, Middleton, Ireland. Mm -hmm. Lovely people, uh, but we're gonna go Have through. we though? Have we? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember you that. You didn't go to Ireland either. Right. Scotland and Ireland. That's not right. Yes. Where have you been? <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're gonna do a blind lineup of the Jameson, just like the core line. So blind. Yeah, yeah. There's not even whiskey in these glasses. <laughs> yeah. That's how blind it is. And we're gonna go through and rank what we think is the best. Mm. I, I have some that I hope are as near the top, but when these blind these blind pours, oftentimes people will get surprised. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, see if we can embarrass ourselves. All right, turn it around. Mm. What happened here? Why do we have brown all over our white background? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Did you brown on this? <laughs> uh, let's wow. start with A, and we're gonna go through and position each of these where we think it's gonna land. First place, second place, third place, all the way through. You guys are gonna rank yours individually, and then we're going to reveal the lineup and see what's what, and see if there's any, I don't know, parallels between your preferences and ours. Man, it smells like Jameson in here. So going in on A. So, oh, that's nice. That is nice. A lot of sherry in There's that There's a one. reason why people get into Jameson, especially very early on. It's it's mm -hmm. beginner friendly. It's it's hard to find stuff you don't like, that but also it's going to be sweet. relatively vanilla. simple. Vanilla. It is that wafer, vanilla wafer, yes. but it's also fruit. There's like some uh, sherry, like sort of like plum, yeah. apricot kind of notes. Yeah, that's nice. Apricot or apricot? I say. I say apricot or apricot. Apricot. I don't know. I, I say, say apricot. Pecan. Uh, what? All right, now. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Oh. That one's got a little bit more bite there, to yeah. it. I'm gonna put that pretty high up right now. Yeah, so am I. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's not say where we're putting them. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do it. And I'm gonna try not to look at yours because I don't want you to look at mine and see the correct answers. Number, <laughs> Number two. Um, what? All right, we're going to B. I'm gonna go. Or B, yeah. Oh, that's very different. Hold on. It Hold is. On. Hold on. What? So let's, let's have a very okay. fine marker there. Okay. All right, moving on to B. Here we go, okay. here we go. Oh, wow. That's so different. <laughs> I mean, wow. What a surprise. <laughs> I feel like Holy the hell, hell what's oh going my on? Oh my God! Oh my God! It is a little bit more Spinner. of the sort of metallic, uh, like the grain whiskey I think is higher in this yeah, one. Yeah, this is yeah. definitely, between the two, a, much thinner. It's got more of a bark, like a tree bark, not yes. a dog bark. If I didn't know these were all Jameson, I would be, I would be pressured to say this is a different Irish whiskey than Jameson. Yeah, that's pretty paper, papery comparatively. I'm gonna slide that down a little bit. Oh, paper on the taste. Yeah, like, yeah. A very simple sweetness though. Mm -hmm. A vanilla metallic sweetness. All right, all right. C. C. Here we go. Uh, this is closer oh, to. I think it's closer, closer to B. It is yeah. closer to B for sure. Like a barrel note in there. It's a little mm -hmm. more earthy. That's not in B. B smells sweeter to me. This one smells softer. Okay, I'm going to. Mm. Okay. Um, kind of disappears for me a little bit. I'm already a little surprised at how different these are from each other. B and C less so, but A very much. It was a standout. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You ready for D? D. Man, we're kind of flying through these. Oh whoa. This one's almost got more of a. It's got a bite. Like a perfuminess to it. A little more floral. I, yeah, floral, and there's like a, a menthol mixed in yeah. with the ethanol. Oh, that's Almost looks... chocolate, but it didn't quite reach it. I'm going in on okay. the D. I'm out that D. <laughs> well, it's still soft. Like, based on that nose, I want the palate to be a little bit more dramatic than it is. But we are talking but it's James. very soft. So we are talking James. Like James it's is comfy, though. typically going to be low proof. That's very friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's comfy. There's a little bit of a chocolate note to that one that I kind of like. Figure All right. Out. All right. E. E. Are you getting a Play-Doh note? Yeah, closer. Uh -huh. I thought I was getting that on B. But I am definitely getting it on E. This is going to sound weird, yeah. but like a sweet lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Like the wiggly meat? Yeah, very mapley sweet. Like maple ham? Yeah. It's not, it's eh. not terrible. I'm gonna mouth it. Right. Mouthy. I'm gonna. That didn't. Okay. Uh, uh, old, weather worn fence post after the rain. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Such confidence. Yeah. There's more That's complexity more to me to E than the other Those ones. Like there's a lot more things going on. There are, but whether I, don't I know like if, it or not. Yeah, there's definitely more happening. But to your point, I don't think I particularly am in love with it. All right, let's F. Let's get F. 
Oh, oh. hey, that's, that it stands did. out. So without exception, this last year has been the most personally and professionally challenging year of my life by far. So it's good that we have a sponsor like BetterHelp. BetterHelp is basically however you want to receive therapy. Unlike most situations where you're seeking out a psychologist, a therapist, you just sign up. You're gonna take a quiz, you're gonna tell them who you are, what your goals are, what your challenges are, and you can get professional therapy from a licensed expert that is tailored to your exact challenges. Personally, I think of therapy as another word for perspective. Somebody from the outside looking in. One of the things my father always said is, it's difficult to read the label when you're inside the bottle. And a good therapist, they just help you get that outside perspective and figure out what are the moves that are best for you. How are you going to make sure that you have good, solid mental health to take on the challenges that we all deal with? I think we can all agree that whenever it comes to mental health, the last thing in the world you wanna do is use this as a band-aid. We love whiskey, but if you're using this to cope with the rough edges in your life, there is a better way. BetterHelp makes that better way extremely convenient. So if you're struggling, consider therapy with their sponsor, BetterHelp. You can go to betterhelp.com slash whiskey tribe. You're gonna get a 10% discount off your first month with a licensed professional specific to your needs. Betterhelp.com slash whiskey tribe. It does have more sweetness, saturation, body. That's a dusty dark chocolate, like a cocoa mix. But powder. powdered. Oh, the yeah. powder, yeah, 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 definitely. All right, I'm going in. Oh, that's not, bite, that's tangy. I'm not mad at that, no, actually. No, 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 no. That's kind of got a nice, uh, not minty flavor, but a minty throat feel. Yeah, there's like a nice like middle that. body to that that I kind of enjoy. Go back to B, and do you that. smell grass? A little bit. That wasn't there before? Yeah. Daniel, in this AB that we're doing, typically, why would somebody bother with an AB? How does that comparison help uh, somebody figure out what's going on? Because one of the hardest things for your brain is to make an objective consideration of something all by itself. Our brains aren't actually designed that way. Mm -hmm. Our brains are actually designed to make comparisons. Mm -hmm. How much do you think this hat's worth? 20 bucks. Sure, it's kind of a random guess, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I said, which one of these hats do you think is more expensive? The crowded barrel hat. All of a sudden, because it's the best. That yeah, one's... all of a sudden your brain feels it like, okay, now I have something to work with, right? Yeah, Whether right. it's true or not, that's kind of how your brain is designed, to compare things. Something new will wake your brain up a little bit, and then you'll go back to something else, and you're ready for something you weren't ready for before. Are you on G now? Yeah, let's get into G. G? I get a cherry uh, yeah. candy cane. Oh. That's pleasant. I get a little cherry yeah. taste. And a little oh. soft kind of okay. caramel, hard caramel. Mm -hmm. Moving on to H, H. last I one. I put that one though. Hmm. Okay. Oh. This showed up with more of um, the shortbread vanilla than the others, I think. It is a little cakey, yeah. Yeah. A little pound Yeah, cake. with citrus. Mm -hmm. There's a nice, Ooh. bitey, round combo. Ooh. On the finish on that one. Yeah, I like hmm. a little age. Oh, it keeps going. Can That's we take a moment to ourselves? Like AB compare and sort really quickly? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Wow, oh, weird. Mm -mm. No, that's last. Time. All right, we're gonna start with our least favorite. Yes. Yeah. My least favorite and number eight was C. Me too. Okay, mine, C. mine was D. Okay. What was C? Oh, really? He See, didn't like that is really surprising. Doubt? That's <sighs> shocking, even, okay. actually. I, she I has gone on record. I am not surprised yes. because I had really high hopes for the stout. Stouts are my favorite type of beer. Yeah. And when I tried the Jameson Stout Cast, I was not, I just was expecting more stout to come through. Yeah. When and compared to all the others, there's a tanginess to this one that I didn't like. Yeah. So you, before this. I liked stout. Yeah. I have stout at the house. Uh, yeah. Dude, but in a blind lineup. Like, yeah. Okay. Whoops. Blind, dude, you guys blind line up your own stuff. It's crazy what you end up liking whenever you don't have all these associations with it. Now that I taste that, I do taste the stout, mm -hmm. but it's it's not the flavors of the stout that come through. It's more the, the not flavors. <laughs> That's science. So D is my last. Uh, that happened to be my second to last. That's my middle. Okay, and oh, then what was so D? You're pretty far into it. You like the D. Daniel loved the D. Big fan of the D. 
It's just normal, normal Jama. Oh, the standard nice. Jama. That's the regular one. Yeah. Whenever you're not poking at it. Julie's it went favorite. higher up. It beat out the stout for me. Regular standard version of Jameson this is the one I like the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is what you, you play with it. You poke at it. You yeah. mess with it. Yeah. It's the least for me. Yeah. It's, it's the second, second least for you. For me, yeah. Okay. And it's middle of the road for you. Yeah. Okay. Seven. So, Oh yeah, Daniel's seven. Your seven. Was the same as Rex's, B. B. Okay, yeah, I had B too. Oh, and then that's my next least This is least our favorite. second to last, your third to last. My third, yep. Yeah. What was B? That's definitely the yeah, IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was surprised that it beat out the, the stout. It beat out my the standard. Stout, but I, yeah. you can smell IPA on that one immediately. Yeah. In the nose. Kind of beery, yeah. Yeah, that one, of all of these, that one stood out the most for me. So we're moving on to... Six. My sixth place was E. Me too. Uh, your sixth place was... Was B. B. So what was E? Oh, the what? 18. No way! The Jane was an 18 year old. Wow. You know why? Why? Because the power. The nose was awesome. But yeah, that's what kept throwing me about this one. I kept circling back. But the palate got boring. I kept circling back. It's like, I really like the nose. I want it to go higher, but then I taste no. it. It's like, it's... Watery. It's holding it back. Yeah, it's holding it back. I liked it. It was okay. in my fourth place. It was fourth place. It's not bad. I mean, we're in sixth place, like four, five, six. We're kind of in the middle of the pack, but this was the low middle for me, low middle for Daniel. Mm-hmm. Dude, that did surprise me, though. The 18? Ah, it's very, actually. Okay. I well, really would have thought that was higher. Fifth place. That was, for me, D, which is the original. But you guys... Um, we're, we're all different. over the map. It got fifth place for me, that Jameson Stout cast. And for me, it was the classic Jameson that went middle of the road, right? Okay. I had G. Yeah. What what had G? G. What was G? The ah, crest. you know what? Right. I like that. Yeah. That was their attempt to recreate one of the original Jamesons. We recently reviewed the Crested on mm -hmm. uh, the Vault Channel, Vault. and yeah, we liked it. This yeah, was... Yeah, for me, that was right was there, number second five. place. This is the middle of the road for me. Me as well. Fourth place. Fourth place for me was G. Which is Crested. Yeah. Okay. We're all different on this one. Yeah, she has E. I have E. Okay, yeah, yeah. Brianna okay. likes the 18. Hers is fourth place. That was my fourth, yep. And F is? Oh, Select Reserve yeah, yeah. Black Barrel. Black Barrel. Oh. I like Black Barrel, so that, that does was, not surprise me at all. That was my number two. Black Barrel was in my Bastard's Ball tasting at the tower. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What do you like about Black Barrel? I like that it has everything you like about Jameson, mm -hmm. but a little bit more oak, a little bit okay. more barrel. Oh, that was two for you, too. Yeah. Okay. You also liked Black Barrel a lot. Number, number two. two. Black number two, barrel. Black Barrel. You know what's weird? Yeah. We all have the identical pick for three. Three? Okay. We all win H for H third place. Is three. Third place. A unanimous third place. We have H. What was third What's place? H? Cooper's, Cooper's Crows. Crows. Ah. Yeah, this was, uh, this was Garrett Buckley. Yeah. So so what's yeah. the story behind this one? So Garrett Buckley is a fifth generation master Cooper who's working over at Middleton. He he has these tools mm. that go back hundreds of years and mm -hmm. they look like it too and he just effortlessly can craft a barrel and put in precision edges. He's done it so perfectly for so long. They're putting him in his marketing materials and they're telling the story about Gear Buckley, fifth generation master Cooper. And the nicest guy in the world, we had dinner with mm -hmm. him. The people that aren't in the industry, they have very hard opinions about how you can drink a whiskey. Mm -hmm. But whenever you sit down with people that are award winning, that have been doing this, you know, and their families and their ancestors have been doing it professionally forever, yep. they don't give a they crap how you drink your whiskey. <laughs> we sit down, you remember what he ordered? Uh, mm. It was some super expensive Jameson, but he just poured it on a huge thing of rocks with sparkling water. Yeah. yeah. With sparkling water? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. But yeah, this was kind of his project. I mean, that's and I'm a, glad it landed really, really it's high. It's got the, like a gorgeous nose. Like, super so nice, nice. Mm -hmm. super gracious guy. That was our third place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all unanimously chose the same number yeah, one. Yeah, that You're was A2? Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh! Everybody put A as for number one. The number it's got one the best nose. First place winner. The palate holds Wait, up. Wait, so which one is what it? What was A? The gold, the gold reserve. All right. Jameson Gold what? Reserve. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can I tell you why I wouldn't expect that? Because they named it fancy. Yes, they did. Yeah. Mm. Whenever somebody names it like premium or gold or something, then you think it's a little try hard. They're yeah. trying to compensate for what's in the bottle. Yeah. Apparently not. This is nice in the glass. How do you, so where is this one? That's the question. It is discontinued. What? Oh. Hey, you know what? It wouldn't be a Whiskey Tribe episode if we didn't fall in love with the whiskey you can't get. No Bye. One yeah. Discontinued. 2017. It was discontinued in 2017. I don't even know how we have that bottle then, I guess. We're not trying to do this, man. No, we're really not. We're not. It's just. You can't get your hands on this. Get out of here. Want them? Too bad. <laughs> That's uh, terrible.
Oh, <laughs> oh,